Welcome back Stoner Squad and welcome to all those new to the channel. My name is Danny Stone and thank you all for joining me today for some more Imperator Rome going for the Kingdom of David achievement. So in the last episode we finally got our revenge against Egypt. We had a pretty big war which was brought onto us by Lee, uh, Leon, I think it was at the south of us here, and they had Egypt as an ally, which means they came in as well, but with the help of the Seleucid Empire and a few of our other allies like Cappadocia, we have managed to push them back and we've took significant gains of land in the south down here as you can see. But we've also managed to conquer back what Egypt took off us and more. So we got back half of this province and then the other half that Egypt had, which is absolutely fantastic. So that is the first major victory we have over Egypt and it's putting us nicely on the way to greatness. Anyway, um, in this episode, what do we need to do? Well, a lot of shit, really. We are totally worn out from the war. We've got no manpower. We're highly unstable. We've got a lot of aggressive expansion. So um, it is going to be a bit tricky here. So we need to do quite a few things. So the first thing is we need a new Sephet. So I'll put the best man for the job here, and I'll put you definitely. Thank you, my dear Sephet. You should increase our legitimacy a little bit per month, which is great. Uh, now we need a tradition. I'm going to take one, and I am going to go down this route here. We'll go to the Thoracitae for the light infantry offense, and we'll go down to the Makamoi Epiloctoi, which gives us heavy infantry um, offen uh, offense, which is pretty cool. And then we can get the Phalanx tactic down here as well. So let's go for this one pretty quickly. Bim, bam, boom. So that gives us a nice new tradition. We have an import route in the capital. I think we should import something. What? That is the question. Um, I get a surplus of marble. What does that do? It reduces our tyranny by 0.01. That is pretty neat. What would incense do? Local noble happiness. Well, that is from myself. I don't want to trade with myself on external trade routes. What should I get? Do I have enough food? Yeah, we have more than enough food. Way more than enough food. I reckon we get a surplus of marble. It reduces our tyranny each month, so we might as well. I mean, it gets down by 0.01 extra, so I'll happily take that. It's not a problem at all. Uh, the next thing we need to do now is sort out this potential civil war. Now, there is an issue. We have this guy here, this general. He's a good general. He was the explorer. But it's turned out that he is pretty much um, turning against us, which is a bit of a pain. So we're going to have to try and do something to um, get this guy back on our side. It's going to be really tricky, to be honest. Get him on our side, then get rid of command of the soldiers, I think, would be the best bet. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to swap some things out here. We're going to get rid of patronized scholars, and we'll go for the military administration. Now that should help us a little bit with this guy. It has indeed, which is pretty cool. And then could I bribe you and then try to befriend you? I reckon we could. Do I have enough gold? We have enough gold, I think, to do both, which would be pretty cool. Is there anything else we could swap these out for? Lords of characters would be nice, but I can't get that yet. Um, the pop conversion speed is pretty cool. Am, am I actually converting anybody down here? Yeah, there's quite a few Arabic pops down here that we need to sort out, but again, the whole province is disloyal and it's going down, so we need to solve that problem as well. So I don't think converting them at the moment is going to be our main issue here. Um, we need to really stabilise it all, but what about over here? I think all this is fine. It's pretty much all Jewish down here. Yeah, it is. It's pretty much all Jewish. Which is really cool, actually. So I could probably put on something... I mean, what about over here? Yeah, Promise Lords is going down as well. Yeah, we'll, we'll check that out in a bit. I don't need to change any of this just yet. Um, let's have a look. Which one? What else can I get here? Anything that would help us with loyalty or anything. An integrated call to happiness could be useful. Pot conversion speed, no. Reinforcement speed, no. Like something with manpower recovery speed would be cool. I don't think there's anything of that. No, there isn't. So I'm going to leave the rest. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try and get this bloody general back on our side. Because he is being a dick. So we'll quickly bribe you. I suppose. Gives me back up to... How much? How much did I get that? 15. Yeah, let's bribe you quickly. So up to 27. We're very close. We're very close. We're very close. What if I was to pass a law that increases the loyalty of generals again? I don't really have many governors, so... So I really don't know. Hmm. What do I need for these here? I need extra civic advances. But that's not going to work. Yeah, that, I can, the only thing I can do is actually pretty much try to bribe this guy. So I'm going to grab myself a holding here. Grab myself one in Gaza. I'll also... Just try and get a little bit of extra gold per month so I can actually try and befriend that general. It is something we're going to need to really do to stop the civil war from breaking out. 
Um, I have a little bit of gold, so maybe we could go for some tech. Like, maybe the monthly chimney reduction would be neat. I suppose we could do that. Do, do, do I want to go for that? Or do I want to use the gold for other things? I mean, I could probably try to develop what we've got. I could probably get a city or something somewhere, which would be nice. Am I building one down here? No, I'm not, but I could build a city down here. And that would be great. It would help considerably. Or I could go for one down here. We haven't got... I mean, I've got a city in this province. It's that one. I could do that one a little bit later on. But down here, I'm pretty sure we don't have any. And we do need to civilize the whole area. So I think I'm going to build a city over here. And then we'll try and get all the pops in there. Yeah, we'll, we'll build a city down here, I think. It's, it's a good thing to do. So we'll pop that there. We'll use the gold for that. Um, you lack a commander, we know. This army, by the way, um, this is the one we control. I'm sending it down into this region so we can get them on governor control. So I can actually make sure that um, we get the unrest down, which is vital. Disloyal provinces, we know. All the way up there. But it's only that one. It's only a tiny bit of land, so that's not really much of a problem. And I think we're pretty much ready to roll. Yeah, bim, bam, boom. Let's, um, let's go. Let's go indeed. Am I going? There we go. I think my space bar's gone. Is my space bar got a bit wonky? Wait a second. What's up with my damn keyboard? What's up with my damn keyboard? This is really annoying. Um, I think something's wrong with my keyboard. I'm going to go for five seconds and then I am going to come back. I'll be right back in a second. Okay, I'm back. It turns out that my space bar pretty much popped out of my keyboard, um, but I've, put it, I've popped it back in, so it's all fine. So let's roll. Bim, bam, boom. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, now it's pretty much trying to stabilize what we've got here, and um, let's see what we shall do here. I've got the extra pop conversion speed passive for this one. Do I want something else? What do I want? Do I have extra... Oh no, I can... What's it? Wait a sec, what's this? Character, open character. Oh, you yeah, get each character is an actual prophet, so of course. Oh, of course, so they each have character win. Okay, that's interesting. Moses. Okay, this is that's really cool. I didn't know that. Uh, but anyway, let's have a look if there's anything. Do we own any other holy sites? No, we don't. I own this one. What about this one over here? Oh, this one we own. Jewish prophet of economy. Ah, Caleb, we own that one. What about this one? And I also own the Abraham one, Joseph one. But I prefer the one we've got on there anyway. So let's go with again. We'll go for the manpower recovery speed again. I know it's not very kind of novel, but we've been going that one for ages. But I do need the extra manpower, so we'll take that. And not to mention the extra um, province investment, which is totally free, by the way, which is great. I mean, wow. Direct investment. We've got seven extra trade routes for direct investments. This is just wicked. Um, so we're going to do another one. Of course, I want another trade route. We want to get as much trade goods as we possibly can muster. Um, we make, we've got, we're making what? 2.41 gold per month. We need to get our gold up a little bit more so I can actually try to befriend this damn general. Um, oh, this governor's disloyal? Well, you've got no power base, so that's not a problem. Um, it's, this is the one that we really want to take care of. And I would like to befriend you. I really would. Can I befriend you? I think I can do it very soon. I'll wait till I get 100 gold. Once we hit the, once we hit 100 personal gold, then yeah, I'll definitely befriend the guy. We need to get rid of him. He's the one that's going to be plunging our realm into civil war, and I don't really want that. I, I really don't want that. It's something that we need to avoid at all costs. What is our civil war threshold, by the way? Yeah, it's, um, yeah. At the moment, it's 18.93. We need to really do sort that guy out. ASAP. Uh, they want to trade, no problem. They can have salt from us, that's fine. We're still making 18.4 gold points, which is good. So we actually, because we don't have many men to maintain, of course, so we are making, like, more gold. Um, so I'm definitely going to assign you to the region. Hopefully we'll get unrest down a little bit. Yeah, only a little bit, though. It should help with the... Yeah, it's slowly creeping back up now. Here's a little bit lower, though. It's slowly creeping back up. Okay, good. This is all good stuff. All good stuff. Right, let's go back to our king here. 85 gold... Oh, we need a little bit more. We need a little bit more. What's this down here? Are these the supporters or something? Oh, supporters for the session. Okay, interesting. Can I give myself another holding? I think I could. But I don't really want to just yet. No, 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 no. Now we just need to get our manpower back up, get our armies back up as quickly as possible, and then we should probably try to strike against Egypt again with the help of the Seleucids. 
But again, this is all just pure speculation. There's really not much we can do at the moment, apart from wait all this out. Um, you've got what now? 87. Come on, come on. Need more gold. Oh, colonizable territory. Yep, we'll definitely quickly colonize that back. Thank you. And now we've got a mission done, making gains. So we've got the whole province here, which is pretty cool, which gives us minus one slave need for surplus. Pop simulation speed gone up and migration attraction is up. That's pretty cool. We can do the Annex Parade as well, which gives us more popularity, which is fantastic. And then, of course, Triumph in Palestine. Jerusalem gains Triumph for 120 months. Pop output goes up by 10%. Citizen happiness goes up by 12%. And um, our guy gains one finesse. So, yes, please. Thank you very much. I can actually finish the mission, by the way. Um, where is Perea, by the way? What settlement is Perea? Oh, it's here. So I need, like, three more cities in Perea. I could build one there. I think. I could definitely build one here. We definitely build one on here as well. Maybe in Tyros or something? Or here? Yeah, we could get three cities up there. We can do that mission. That's not a problem. I mean, we are making quite a bit of gold, so it's something we could definitely do. I might... Yeah, we might continue that. Anyway, let's see. Where is my general here? Can I grant you a holding? I can't grant you a holding. That's a pretty big shame. 35 months we've got to wait now. I might actually grant myself another holding here. Just so we can increase the amount of gold we make. Because the more gold we can get, the better. The quicker we can actually bribe that guy. Well, not bribe him, but you know what I mean. Um, befriend him so we can get his loyalty up so I can take away the command of the forces. We do have another trade route here, which is great news. And let's try and bring some extra cool stuff. Incense, notes, still from my own self. We have spices, we have a surplus of spices. What don't have a surplus of? Emp, dates, vegetables. Emp, dates, vegetables. What do dates give us? National commerce income plus 5%. Yes, please. I'll but I have to import it from myself. It doesn't make us enough gold. No. What about veg? What about veg? Oh, I don't... This salt? I don't have any salt, do I? Oh, but again, no one wants to trade with us because they all hate us due to our aggressive expansion. Well, vegetables we can. Let's get it. Yeah, we'll move slave cost minus 25%. We'll get the surplus of that. No problem. Why not? I'm making a whopping 20 summer gold per month. This is wicked. Wicked indeed. What is your gold now? 91. Okay, we need a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Now I can get rid of this guy from these. Get rid of the control. We've got 33 months. And I really don't want you to... Yeah, I really don't want you to plunge our nation into a civil war, please. Something I would really like to avoid, if possible. Uh, what's our tech level, by the way? Civic level 6, nearly. Or to level 6 as well, nearly. Is there any laws we can change? No, nearly civic level level 6. So then we could go for a court for landowners here. Which would increase loyalty of generals by 10%. Or by 10. And we're very close to getting that. Which means we could increase his loyalty that way. I'm pretty sure we could do it that way. Um, what, le what level are we now? Civic level? When would it go up? In 506. We can do that. That is doable. Instead of... If we if the befriend thing fails, we could definitely change that law and it could definitely work. It's definitely doable. I mean, I can't see why not. Oh, call to arms from the Seleucids from Gates Gera and Amaka. Um, yeah, I'll just accept. I ain't going to go into fight, but... Oh, damn, this guy is no, isn't he? Oh, no, he's not. Or is he? Well, I'll just join him anyway. I don't think he even needs my help. Yeah, he doesn't even need my help, so... We'll just go anyway, just to keep good terms with him. Um, gain 6 stability, lose 10 political influence. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Any form of stability is good here. Because high stability, the higher our threshold. Oh god, 43% of the power base is disloyal now? What's going on? But you're really pissed. Um, so I'm going to grant you a holding. Okay, that gives you that gives you under control. Wow, why does everybody hate us? Jesus Christ. Saul Manali, the governor. He hates us as well now. Um why? Because uh, you're your power base. Um let's let's I'm gonna have to give you free hands, I'm pretty sure.
Yeah, I might have to give you free hands. 74 power base. I've got to give you free hands. I don't like doing it, but I've got to do it. Oh, and the Civil War stopped. Yes. Potential Civil War stopped. That is great. Now all I need to do is take care of this general, because I need control of the armies. Desperately. Desperately, desperately need control of the armies. Ority advances. That's pretty cool. We can... Oh, yes. We're going to go for sponsored research straight away. Plus 10%. Yep. Sponsored research. Plus 10% research points. That is definitely what we're going to take there pretty quickly. That is so damn useful. Now we need to check if our guy's got enough gold. We have. Let's try and befriend this guy now. Oh, he's pissed with us now. Still you. Still you. And you. Who are you? Head of the Iscariot family. Yeah, because you've got a big power base. Because you're the head of the family, that's why. Um, so you here, I do need to try and befriend you. So we are going to try and befriend this guy. Let's see if we can actually do something here. If we can befriend him, we could... It gives him plus 10 loyalty, and then that would be more than enough to get rid of his command of the soldiers. Exotic gifts. Yeah, I'm going to get you a tiger, my boy. Now, definitely get you a tiger. They want camels, no problem. We'll keep trading. We're making still 19.77 gold per month, which is crazily good. And I'm liking it. Now, all we need to do is just pray to God that we can friends with this uh, rebellious general. And uh, then we can actually uh, keep the realm kind of safe. So... Yeah, I'm going to do this as beneath us, this one. I'm going to take the risk. I don't have the gold here. And I don't want to gain the extra tyranny. So this is beneath us. Hopefully we'll have something else like a gladiator to get him or something. Or petitioner approaches. Oh, this is cool. Um, so a venerable elder by the name of Levi Braham approached Dr. Adonis in private this morning. In a hushed voice, he spoke of a vision in the near future in which it was found by his loved ones, having been killed under mysterious circumstances. Well, we shall take good care of you, my boy. Just give us all your gold. It was all your money, and yeah, we'll, we'll be friends. That's, that's fine. You can, you, I like it when that happens. When they're scared for their lives, and they just give us every ounce of cash that they have. It's always cool when that happens. This is going down, that is good. Our war exhaustion is going down nicely. I do like it when that happens. Uh, political ambitions. So what's this? It is well known that Demodas Therid has been seeking particular government office for some time. Until now, it has been passed over unjustly in favour of others. With a well-placed word and wrangling, we could achieve both Demodamus' aims and our own. I could... Yeah, I'm going to make him the royal tutor here. Manahem Manali will lose some loyalty. I'll get a bit of tyranny, I'll lose political influence. But yeah, it's like just to get rid of this guy. And now he should be happy. Yes, he's royal tutor, which means he's gone. Which means he doesn't have control of the soldiers anymore. And we are going to put somebody loyal to us. Actually, no, I'm going to get this army here. And this one is going to be going all the way over to our capital here. And it's going to be commanded by the king. It'll be the king's personal army. Now, this royal tutor... Yeah, he... I can't get rid of him now, though. That is the problem. But I'm not bothered. I'm really not bothered. He can stay there. He's not going to be too much of a pain this way. And it has got rid of the potential civil war here. There's only this dude now that's a bit of a douche. But I could just grant you a holding a little bit, which I am going to do. I'll grant you a small holding. You'll be happy. All that is solved. This is the only guy now, I think, that's pissed. Oh, no, this Saul Manali. Who is the governor, of course. Why don't you like me, Saul? Well, I could definitely probably do this. And that would even it out then. And then we do get an extra 15% commerce income, which I would like to get. So let's definitely do this. Because then, like, it, I like doing it this way because when you take, like, to, like, say you take a law which increases loyalty of generals and reduces loyalty of governors, if you just take the other one that does the opposite, it kind of balances it all out. However... Why do I risk a civil war? Why? Well, that's not right. What is our... What is our threshold? Why is 27% of our power base disloyal? That, that's not right. Um, let's have a look. This guy is someone I brought over. He's a pretender to become a donus. But you're a lajid. What, what the hell are you doing here? I could grant you citizenship status. 
There we go. That solved the problem. So now you're happy, and it gets rid of the potential civil war. Okay. Whew. Finally, everything is slowly under control. Now what we need is more political influence, because what we'd like to do... Oh, I am actually doing the... Um, I am actually increasing our influence, which is cool. Yeah, we need we need more of that because then we can actually get some cities. I'd like to get three more cities in Perea here, just so we can actually do the mission. I think it would be a really good thing. And what's the loyalty like down here now? This is slowly going down again. This one's slowly rising. And we are now friends with the Royal Tutor. Okay, so it actually worked. So he's now a lot more loyal. So he's very close to being totally loyal to us. Um, I could actually change... What is the... This is all Jewish here? Of course it is. It's all Jewish, which is great news. So what we should do... Is probably... Change this. Yeah, let's um, pop this on cultural assimilation. Why not? Why not? Why not? We might as well. Um, we can actually go for some tech as well. And I'm very tempted to go for... In that law cost, it would help us later on down the line. Codified succession, oath of allegiance cost. The special invention only available. Um, well, how do I do oath of allegiances? How does that work? Is that only for generals? My guess is it's only for generals. I've never really done any oath of allegiance. Or is it a new thing that you can get when you unlock this? I don't know. That's interesting. I have no idea. The build cost would be nice to take. I think we're going to go for the build cost. Quickly. Why not? Because I do, I do want to get some more buildings built. There's quite a few that we do need to get. And we are making 17.05 gold per month. So it's pretty fine. I'm, I'm pretty sure Egypt now really hate our goods. And they are at war with who? Barker this time. They want dates. No problem. I will probably try to free Kush at some point as well. Because um, I don't like Egypt having all this. If we can free Kush, that would be fantastic. Let's see what we can build. Um, what about over in our capital over here? So we've got... I can probably get another building here. What can we go for? You know what? We're probably going to go for another court of law. Yeah, that's pretty cool. A court of law would be nice there. Let's get one of them. What about over here? Here we're full. Jericho will fall. There we're not full though. This is interesting. I could probably go for another live. Yeah, let's go for another live. Why not? Why not, why not, why not? Over here we're full. Oh, and Melagros Legend died of a terrible fever. Poor guy. The uncle of the Basilissa of Egypt, he was. Let's go for, again, I would like another live here. I think another live would be a good thing to have. We'll fill that out there. Here I'm full on buildings. Here we're not, though. I've got a city here. I didn't even realise it. I've got two cities here. I had no idea. That was strange. I might actually go for a fort up here as well, to be honest. Or like, down on this one. Yeah, I think we should probably get a fort here. Unless... Unless I get one here, we get rid of that. And then I think up here would be good. But then it blocks any attack from the north. Plus 83 to actually get a fort. That's quite a lot. I'm going to get one there anyway. And the coming of the city of Madiama Felix. Now that is all the way down here. I'm pretty sure we got... Yes, we did. We got on here, which is great news. This is really, really good stuff. And um, we are going to get a fort on that as soon as possible as well. And then we'll start probably trying to pull some pots into the capital, I think. Um, if we could actually... What, what, what's it like this now? 0.06. Still not loyal enough. I need more governor troops there. We need more soldiers. We need the armies to increase in size. Of course, we have a lot of soldiers to keep getting, so... It's going to be a while till we get our manpower back. The Salukis want salt, no problem. We have another trade route in our capital. We must have had another noble or something, or another noble threshold. And what can I get here now? What about surplus of hemp? What does that do? Shit damage done. Don't really need that. And um, what about silk or papyrus would be great. But I can't get either. So we need to find out if we can get something else. Grain, what does that do? Global food, extra modifier, we've got a surplus of that. Surplus of salt would be nice, but I can't get it. Fish as well. Um, what about base metals? Leather, no wine. I haven't got any wine, have I? Let's get some wine. 
If we get a surplus of wine, it reduces army maintenance costs, so I think it's worth it. And you guys are going to assign you to the region here, and this should hopefully get the loyalty of this place up a little bit. Yeah, it is. It's working. It's working pretty well there. It's going to get their loyalty up. Pops are really pissed. Because the governor's Jewish, it's normal. Levi Braham died. Poor guy. Who are you? The governor of Syria over here. I'll just put somebody like... I don't know. Maybe you? Yeah, I'll just put you. And why do I have another potential civil war now? The Sol Manali is a dick. What are you the governor of? You're the governor of Arabia. Yeah, of course, it is a pretty big governor, which is why he has a lot of power base. And then he does have the troops under his command here, of course. Um, oh, well, it is what it is. We'll find a way to deal with this guy. Barker, have what? The council military access given to us? Yeah, whatever. We'll put a new court philosopher here. This guy's still being a douche. Now it's this guy. He's really powerful. So if I was to... Yeah, I can't even take off the troops here. Um, How much gold do we have? As a donus, we don't have enough. Excellent conditions in Dadan. So whether by happy coincidence or the blessing of the goddess of fortune or just diligent management, for the past year the production of the city of Dadan has far surpassed the expectations of local bureaucrats and administrators. So he loses 10 loyalty, Solman Ali, and we gain 100 gold. Um, he can gain 10 prominence into local slave output and slave output goes up in the region of Arabia. Why is his loyalty all of a sudden gone like skyrocketing down? I'm going to increase his loyalty here. We'll... Um, yeah, we'll give um, benign autonomy. Just to try and get his um, get his loyalty up a little bit more. But what's gone down here? Why? So he's plotting. So when does this plot finish? How? When does it actually finish? How long is he plotting for? I don't know how long. Hopefully it'll be before the Civil War. I think it's going to be before the Civil War fires. Because he's got minus 10 because he's plotting, I think. So when, we lose, when he loses that, I'll be up to 36 loyalty, so I'll be quite happy. So I'm not really worried about that now. Anyway, we need to arrange a new marriage now. And hopefully get somebody who is decent in the art of military matters here. Because I'd like to get the extra manpower recovery speed. So let's go for Berenice. Oh no, shall I marry into the Manali? I should probably marry into the Manali family. I mean, we don't need any more children. We are 75. So I think uh, Sifra and Manali here would be fine. But let's do that. Oh, God. Hmm. So she gains 15 loyalty. Nathaniel Manali gains 15 loyalty. But yeah, now nah, I'm going to look elsewhere. Fuck that. I'm, I ain't wasting all that gold. I don't even need to get married, to be honest, at the moment. I mean, we're dying. We're old. Um, are my children married? My children's not married. My son, he's 41 and he's not married. Are you kidding me? When did I not pay attention to that? Let's have a look if we can get anyone from the Salute Kids here. So we'll have the Ruler family. I want females. Um, we'll sort by age. What about you? Jordy married? But this one isn't. And she's 14. When does she? 12th of April. So 12th of April, two years time. We need to remember, 12th of April, two years time, we marry the son. Or we get our son married. I think that's what I mean by that. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that, we'll do that. Entire devotion. Uh, gain free stability. Yes, please. Thank you. Because we are losing stability at the moment quite quickly because we have high aggressive expansion. Which means I could probably actually... Ch I've actually got appeasing stance already, so... Huh. Interesting. I could probably change this now. I don't need that back anymore. So I could probably put this back on to maybe... Maybe pot conversion speed. For the moment. Pot conversion speed plus 20%. We have a few areas that I need to pretty much turn to convert. And I think it's definitely doable. So maybe... What is our religious unity? 67%. Yeah, let's pop on the... Um, let's swap this out. We'll go for... Get rid of military administration now. And we'll go for the... Uh, Go for the pot conversion speed for 
And that should help this area now. Yeah, that's a lot better now. 1.15%. That's way better. Way better indeed. And I'm happy with that. That's really, really good. So hopefully that guy will lose his... Um, um, will stop plotting. Not you, but the other guy. Once he stops plotting, he should be fine. And then the Civil War should stop. So I'm not really worried about that, to be honest. I have a lot of gold here. Can we actually go for some more buildings? I think we can, you know. And we have Civic Advantage, which is great. Oh, we have a lot of really cool stuff here. Ooh, monthly wages for characters, capital import routes, national slave output, all this sort of stuff I want. So we're not going to build any buildings, but we are going to tech the crap out of the thing here. Now, slave output is cool. Capital import routes as well. So um, let's go for the river bar just first. We'll go for the extra capital import route. See if I can get that extra wine. And I can. We'll have to get it from Philistia. Yeah, but I'm not bothered. I'll get it from myself here. That's fine. At least now the good thing with this is we have army maintenance cost reduced by 5%, which means we should make a little bit more money. 22.40 now. That is fantastic. How is our armies doing, by the way? How much manpower do you get back per month? 113. It's not that bad, actually. Really not that bad. It's a lot better than it was before when we're, like, making 50 to 60 manpower per month. But I suppose we should probably get some... Probably get some manpower hubs, I think. Maybe we're making a lot of gold. Maybe get some barracks. That's what I'm thinking of at the moment. Once we get this little bit of tech that we want to get here. What's the next level of military tech, by the way? Discipline. That's cool. Uh, maybe get overseers and the wages for characters, and then we'll see what we can do. Anyway, we've received word from local officials of the province of Arabia Relicta that several important food stockpiles have been looted by malcontents. Um, can I... Can't really do anything here. So I'm going to increase the loyalty of the province. I'll pay the gold myself. I don't want to lose any loyalty with the governor, so I'll just pay it myself. Hopefully the governor should be happy with that. Yeah, but he's happy now. He's a, he's a lot happier, so that's good. Um, what's this? Cappadocia want wine? Yeah, that's fine. Take it. Take it, people. And then we need to see where we can actually go for some... Um, for some manpower, you know? I mean, I really would like to. Not on the food. On the horses here would be cool. And, like, over here as well. Maybe... Yeah, we could probably... We could definitely go with some of these barracks. It would increase, us, it would increase the freemen. And I think we should get a few of these in each and every uh, province that we've got, or the main provinces that we've got. We've got a fort on this one, haven't we? We have. We've got a load of buildings to build in these areas as well. We've got a lot of stuff to do. We should probably get some buildings in here as well. I don't... You know what? I'm, I'm going to take I'm going to take a break here, and uh, what we'll do in the next episode, I think, while we keep increasing our manpower, because there's really not much we can do, and we really have to wait for the right time to strike, and for that we need more manpower. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll definitely try and get back. We'll try and get some more manpower back. So I'm going to get some barracks in the different regions, apart the different provinces, apart from this one down here, um, our capital provinces. This one, this one, this one, this one, all that. We'll probably try and get some, just so I can increase the amount of manpower we gain back per month. But um, anyway, as per usual, thank you so much for joining me, people. If you enjoyed the episode. Please don't hesitate to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see some more Impolar Room content, also consider subscribing to the channel for more. And with that said and done, thanks again for being here, people. And I'll hopefully catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.